The Israel-Hamas War, a closer look at propaganda, deception, and fake news. In the midst of the Israel-Hamas War, propaganda, deception, and fake news have played a pivotal role. The Hamas Authority for Refugee Affairs has branded Israel's directive to evacuate the northern part of the Gaza Strip as fake propaganda. However, the truth of the matter often takes a back seat in the realm of propaganda. A recent armed incursion into Israel, orchestrated by Hamas's military wing, the Qassam Brigades, involved multiple surprise breaches of Israel's security barriers. These operations were executed with determination and efficiency, leading to the capture of Israeli armed forces and civilians. While there was a military component to these actions, such as taking hostages for potential use as human shields, their primary purpose was psychological warfare. Psychological warfare, a concept coined just over 80 years ago at the onset of World War II, encompasses tactics that have been integral to warfare throughout history. Military strategists have long understood the importance of sowing fear and uncertainty within the enemy's ranks. Surprise attacks, coupled with the art of unpredictability, create a powerful advantage. This advantage is amplified when an adversary is caught off guard and faced with unexpected challenges. In the annals of military history, some wars have been won without winning a single decisive battle. The Vietnam War offers a compelling example. The Vietnamese commander-in-chief, General Vo Nguyen Giap, defeated the United States without securing a clear victory in battle. Similarly, in last weekend's skirmishes, Hamas may not have won the war, but they certainly scored a propaganda victory. Footage of Hamas fighters engaging Israelis, both soldiers and civilians, stirred outrage in Israel and much of the Western world. However, to many Palestinians, as well as observers in the Arab and Third World countries, these fighters displayed unwavering determination, remarkable composure, and modern military proficiency. Their willingness to risk their lives demonstrated that the underdog can challenge the powerful. In this vast part of the world, Hamas achieved a significant propaganda victory. Conversely, in Israel and the West, Hamas's actions have reinforced the view of its fighters as cold-blooded murderers and terrorists. Their actions united Israelis in a display of solidarity, transcending political and ideological divides. Did Hamas anticipate the impact of their incursion? Undoubtedly. They calculated that it was worth showing a different facet of their capabilities and renewing global attention to the Palestinians' plight. Predictably, Israel responded with targeted aerial bombings in Gaza, which had limited military impact, followed by an immediate psychological warfare campaign. Propaganda and military strategies converged. Israel's call for the evacuation of northern Gaza within 24 hours should be viewed as a propaganda tactic of war. Military planners recognize that civilians, especially under duress, cannot be marshaled like disciplined armies. Their attempts to gather belongings, seek alternative routes, or take along possessions may only allow them to cover limited distances per day. In fact, when large groups of civilians are involved, they can obstruct roads vital for military maneuvers, leading to chaos, panic, and demoralization. While Israel sought to create this situation, it only partially succeeded. This complex interplay of propaganda, deception, and military actions is ongoing, with future developments unpredictable. As the war unfolds, it is crucial to continue scrutinizing the role of propaganda and misinformation in shaping perceptions and outcomes.